So, you want to be a game developer, but you're struggling to showcase your work properly in your portfolio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an exciting and standout portfolio piece. I'm Matthew from the Game Dev channel, and this channel is all about getting the next generation of game devs into the industry, so if that sounds like something that's up your alley, then consider subscribing for all the latest content. In this video, I'm going to deep dive into making a good portfolio piece as well as showing you an, a good example of one. I'll put an example to one I made at the very end of the video, so stick around to watch that. So just to clarify, this video is specifically going to be dealing with an individual portfolio piece and not the portfolio as an overall. If you want to look more into making an overall portfolio, then I have another video for that, which I will put a link above but we're just going to deep dive into this one specific video you'll be making for your portfolio. So if you're looking to make a good portfolio piece for games, you really need to just download some free video editing software and some free video recording tools. I tend to use DaVinci as my free video editing software, but you can use something as basic as Windows Movie Maker. That's absolutely fine. And then to actually record my content, if it's on PC, I tend to use NVIDIA a GeForce Capture. That's really, it's a really good tool to use and it's completely free so I would definitely look into that but obviously there are others out there. The one thing that people tend to do with portfolio pieces is make them really long and that's why you want to get these free softwares and you want to just cut a really succinct, quick, interesting, exciting video of your portfolio piece. So for instance if you're going to be doing a game then cut out all the boring parts of the gameplay that you've made. We don't want to see that, we just want to see what's the cool combat like, what are the cool features look like. Just do quick snippets of these really good, interesting things that you've created. Lots of people tend to just record a playthrough of them starting the game to the finish of the game, and that's not really what people look for when they're just rifling through someone's CV. If you can make a video that's about a minute long, even that's a bit long, but 30 seconds to a minute and a half is like the perfect length for a portfolio piece video because it's quick, it's easy to watch, and there's a higher chance that the person watching your portfolio piece is actually going to watch the entire video. So on top of that, just kind of cut together all the really interesting parts. I kind of touched on this before, but what I like to do is I will focus a feature for every like 15 second segment. So start the earlier segments with the more interesting gameplay. So if you're making a combat game, then put the combat right at the start. And then afterwards do the secondary mechanics, but make sure you show everything. You don't want to make it look like you've only done combat and then forgotten about everything else. So that's why it is actually important to put in all the stuff that you have done elsewhere in your video. Again, just like 15 seconds on each feature is more than enough. And I'd be tempted to say, try and put in like title cards or just do on-screen text to actually display the information rather than talking about it. People might not be able to listen to your videos where they are. So if there is important information that is audible only, then that might get missed. So try and avoid doing that. Having said that, Please put audio in the videos as well because if I do listen to it with audio and it's just a silent video then that's a little bit weird. If your game has audio make sure that audio is there. Audio is something that's often overlooked in games so if that is in your portfolio piece that's a really good sign. But I would maybe say just put a backing music track that kind of goes all the way through the video just to give that nice sense of continuity all the way through the video rather than just using your games music with weird cuts here and there. And like I said before, just show all the little bits of your game. So if you have menus, make sure you show menus. It's actually surprisingly impressive when you see that someone's taken the time to do a full game loop. So maybe have a little bit showing the intro, a little bit showing the game over screen or the fail conditions and the victory condition. That'll look really good. And if you can show me all of that within a minute or so, that is a really strong portfolio piece you'll have. So as a little example of all the things I've kind of discussed, 
Um, I'm just going to end this video on showing a portfolio piece that I've made based off a Global Game Jam game I made. It's not an amazing game, but if you can make it look amazing, that's all that really matters. Um, so I'll stop talking and then I'll set off the video. So if you've watched this and you've enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or you want me to have take a look at any your portfolio pieces, just drop a comment below. I'd be more than happy to do that. If you're enjoying the channel, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the example video I've made. Uh, enjoy. Bye for now.